So, if you guys can tell, my bed is looking like a hot mess because I wanted to film a video with you guys. So I decided to do a photo shoot in my bedroom. So I will go ahead and leave up here of my last video that I did for my Instagram. So basically what I did was I shot all my Instagram photos at a parking garage and obviously I cannot leave and I've been getting a lot of messages and comments saying like when are you going to do another one? Another video like that, exactly like that, is probably going to come after I get out of quarantine, but for right now, I need to spice up my Instagram because I got hacked a few weeks ago actually, and I had to start a whole new one, so all my photos are gone, and I'm sorry you guys are like wobbling, um, this is kind of difficult. Let me go ahead and go right here. So basically, my Instagram got hacked a few weeks ago. It was so annoying, and I just started a new one. With that being said, I am basically going to be filming a little photo shoot in my bedroom. To be very honest, I have a very small room. Um, compared to my last room, I felt like I had a little bit more things to work with. So I was wanting to kind of take some photos, but obviously stay in my room. So I thought I can film with you guys a little challenge to try and film some cute photos in your house. I'm hoping these come out pretty good. I'll go ahead and add some of my inspirations that I found on Pinterest. I feel like I'm going to recreate that kind of similar ideas with the space that I have. It's definitely going to be a challenge because again I don't have a lot to work with. So I went ahead and did my makeup. Basically I just did my, my everyday makeup. I was thinking about putting some eyelashes on I'm not too sure. I'm going to take a few photos and kind of go from there. I'm really excited how this is going to be turning out because I haven't filmed a video like this in a while as well as I really need to step up my Instagram game because it has been going down because I obviously don't have a lot of photos. All my photos from my old Instagram I deleted because I wanted to save as much space on my phone as possible. So let's go ahead and jump into the first outfit. I brought these brown um, leather, fake leather pants from actually Rue 21, which is surprisingly cute and they fit really good. And I was just gonna pair it with this white sweater vest. This shirt is just like the see-through. I was just gonna do like a see-through moment with my, a black bra. And then a leather skirt in this black leather jacket. I'm going to see how this looks. I have a vision, but I'm not too sure how well that's going to look. And then over here, um, I have these beige pants I got from H&M. So hopefully this will look good with the, this brown um, velvet top. I thought playing around with different browns will look really cute, but that's still up in the air. I'm not too 100% sure. Minka is just chilling right here. This one is going to be these white kind of beige pants that I got from, um, I think I got them from, from Target. These are on sale, which is super cute. Sorry, Miko. And then this open back top, which is, I think I got this from Q, but I want it kind of like a back shot with it. I thought that would be really cute. It's very simple, but again, I'm just looking for more of a back shot. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. I also have this top that I'm going to try and play with. It's this top from, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, it's actually inside out. Lovely. But basically, you get the idea. This is how the front looks. And then the sleeves are kind of see-through, if you guys can see that. But I'm not sure what I'm going to pair this with yet. That's going to be like a backup. Face number one is going to be in this corner. I feel like this little corner is really cute. It's going to be kind of like the door and then a little bit of this wall. This little section is number two i'm gonna see maybe i can do like the back shot with the with the blue um shirt and then these are our kids yes i have a picture of our kids this is basically pacha and Cusco when they were younger i thought that shot was like super cute but yes i framed it i admit i am one of those fur parents that will frame our kids so Yes, these are my children. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I'm thinking kind of like a moment like this, like at the side of the bed. Obviously, we're going to kind of clean this area up. 
but yeah that is location number three and then maybe a mirror part i don't know we're gonna go ahead and play around with that but this is what we will be messing with I also had an idea of like right here by the window, but I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's probably going to be a little all over the place. The sun is starting to come down a little bit and especially where our apartment is facing. We don't get a lot of lighting to begin with. So if anything, I might just move this mirror to wherever I'm shooting that way I can get some good lighting. I have a really good feeling about this. I'm really excited to show you guys how I pulled this off because to be very honest, you can really take some really good photos just anywhere. When I leave my bedroom, I'm excited to shoot in my living room because we actually changed our sofa cover to this bright orange and it's it's a vibe. I I have some visions on shooting some photos so if you guys are interested in seeing kind of like another video of like shooting Instagram photos in my house type of video then definitely let me know. I feel like that would be such a cute video because it's definitely getting out of your comfort zone. It's definitely being creative of what kind of other places you can shoot inside of your apartment. It would be nice to have like a very luxury apartment because obviously you can get some really cute photos with that. But if you have a very ordinary, just simple apartment like I do, then it's going to be definitely a challenge. And it can definitely help with your creativity because again, I have a very ordinary apartment. I f wish I had a very fancy, elegant apartment, but you know, your girl's on a budget. We don't got the money for that, so... Stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it because I'm so excited. Okay, so I decided this is going to be the first outfit that I will be shooting in. I just grabbed this gold chain, very simple gold chain from my little jewelry collection. And I'm going to put this on. To be very honest, I think this shot is not going to show my feet, so I'm not going to wear shoes. I'm going to first shoot this photo right here, so let me go ahead and prop you guys up in an area that you guys can see. I'm going to be using my tripod. I got this on Amazon, which I will leave um, down below for you guys. And then I also have to find my little adapter for it, that way I can shoot my photos. The only thing I don't like about this tripod is um the way it turns so the difference between this and then the last video is the last video what i did was i just put it on the video part from your phone and then just screenshot and whatever the only thing is is once i start doing that yes some parts were working when i was further away from the camera but when I was a little bit closer, when I cropped it, it cropped even more for Instagram. So that was the main thing I really did not like about that. But I did start downloading Lens Buddy, so that is what I'm going to be using for this video. So basically, you just open the app and it's, it's going to direct you to how many pictures you want to take. Um, I'm just going to do the 10 just to play with it. So basically, I'm going to set it up like this. I'm going to bring it close. That way I have shot that I'm wanting. Okay, so I don't want you guys to see my bathroom situation, but I need that light on just to be a little bit more bright. So this is basically how it's gonna look. Show you guys how they come out. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll throw a warmer shade on your cold mood. Drip drip on the canvas frame. Take a second to appreciate. So right now I'm just changing it to the 50 because I thought 10 would be fine, but it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and change it to the 50. Just ain't the way I wanna love ya, baby. Let the colors be clear. We don't need to keep it clean. Let's mix it up together for each other. Love and watercolor. Okay. So we changed into this funky top with the see-through material. I felt like maybe I can just change the top and see how that one came out. I felt like the vest was super cute, but it made me lose figure. So we're gonna go ahead and try and shoot this top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play around with this one, and I will show you guys the results. That just ain't the way I wanna love. Okay, so 
this outfit is done. We're gonna go ahead and change into our next outfit. I don't know where we're gonna be shooting those ones at yet. Stay tuned for the next outfit. So we moved right here to the photo of my children. I'm in the blue top with the white beige pants. I am doing an open back shot, so obviously team no bra. I mean, I don't have the smallest and skinniest and tonus back. Like a lot of people, I wish I did, but I'm definitely coming out of my comfort zone when it comes to these, so I think it's gonna come out so beautiful and I'm hoping it comes out really good. It's honestly getting pretty warm and the lighting is starting to get pretty harsh. I feel like these pictures are coming out pretty good. My hair is definitely getting way oilier than before. I thought I had um, dry shampoo, but I don't, so. Let's go ahead and jump into the next outfit. I'm excited. I am confused on where I should do it next, though. Actually, I'm kind of confused on what outfit I should do next. <laughs> Okay, so I moved all of the clothes off of there. I also moved the other pillows because it did not fit the vibe. I'm gonna pop a cough drop because my mouth kind of felt dry from talking so much. Maybe we can do like a bed moment. Don't think twice about the person I'm using. Or get caught in that old game of guessing. Okay. Those are actually kind of cute. Oh, you getting hurt again. I push them away. All right. That was actually pretty good. I feel good about those ones. Um, my hair is definitely getting crazy at this point. Okay. So I feel pretty good about all the shots that we did. I'm gonna go ahead and change into another outfit and try to do some shots with the mirror. <sighs> I feel like I wish we had a little bit more props, a little bit more space to work with, but this is okay. This is the whole point of this challenge is trying to figure out how to do these with the space that we have. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. We're in front of my vanity. My hair is absolutely disgusting. Um, I changed into this beige top. I'm moving this right here because I'm gonna try and get some cute little mirror shots with my vanity. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out to be very honest because it's gonna be kind of tricky because my area is pretty small. I'm just gonna put everything on the floor that way it's not so cluttered. basically how that one came out again my hair is so crazy we're gonna go ahead and move on to the silhouette photo I think it's called silhouette I'm not sure what outfit to do for that one now because I feel like maybe we should do a should we do this one maybe um, we're gonna go ahead and just move all the bench closer to the bed and probably put some stuff on the bed and then close the blinds a little bit more or go ahead and turn off the bathroom light but I'm so excited how this one's gonna come out I feel like it's gonna be like sultry sexy so <laughs> I think these are coming out so well I'm so excited to edit this video because I feel like we are doing a really hold good up, hold up. tell me what the hold up is I'm a little sport I'll be the first to admit it I'm not used to it's definitely a lot darker. I hope you guys can still see me, but we're gonna go ahead and do this real quick. Look at what she made. you so badly. I'm in summer with no rain. I want it, want it, want it, want it more than I want to. These honestly came out so cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited for you guys to see how they turned out. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close you guys out here. I had a very good time. I felt like I definitely got out of my comfort zone. I was actually nervous when I first started this to figure out where I can shoot some photos at because again, I feel like my space is very small. I felt like it's very limited. So I was definitely really worried on like, where am I going to shoot good photos, cute photos um, in my room? Like it's not even, my room's not even that cute, but we definitely did a really good job at shooting some photos. I hope you guys like how the photos turned out. I'm honestly so excited to kind of go through them and pick out the ones that I like because I do see a lot of good ones. I'm definitely going to be in here for a while. So if you guys like this video, then definitely give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I post videos every Sundays and Thursdays. So I will see you guys.